Hey, what's up everyone? As you can see, I'm based on the shirt that I have. I am reviewing the, um, you know, the Transformer 1 movie, which is kind of like, in a sense, like, like a prequel source to, like, the Transformer movies, and the first, uh, full-length animated feature, you know, of Transformers since 1986, so that's, like, almost 40 years ago, and it serves as, like, almost like an urgent story, you know, for, you know, how, you know, Optimus Prime, you know, became, you know, the leader of the Autobots, and, you know, he went by a, you know, a different name, Orion Pax, and then you also see, you know, Megatron before he became Megatron, and he went through, like, uh, a different name, D-16, and then you also get to see, you know, Bumblebee in the movie, who was known as B-27, uh, and you get to see what well, life on Cybertron was like, which I thought was pretty cool, and you get to see other Decepticon characters like S Starstream and, you know, all that, which, and Soundwave, which I thought was uh, pretty cool, and then you get to see, like, new, you know, Autobots you've really seen before, like Electrica, and then you've seen, like, uh, Sentinel Prime, you know, in this movie, so I thought that was pretty cool, um, and, you know, the, the animation was surprisingly well done, and it has, like, a great voice cast, including Chris, you know, Hemsworth, who plays, you know, Orion Pax, a.k.a., um, Optimus Prime, and then you got Brian Tyree Henry, who plays, you know, Megatron and all that, and then you got Scarlett Johansson in the movie, so that had a pretty cool star-studded uh, cast, and of course John Hamm plays uh, Sentinel Prime, and um, what else can I say about the movie? It was actually surprisingly one of the better Transformer movies that I've seen in a while, other than, like, say, the first Transformers live-action film and Bumblebee of course so it was kind of nice to see a return to form of sorts so I would say for those that are like diehard Transformer movies fans then I would say this is the movie uh, to see and you know it's definitely surprisingly enjoyable and like I said a good interesting you know story saying how Megatron and you know Optimus you know kind of like paralleled you know Charles Xavier and like you know, Magneto, a.k.a. Eric Lencher, showing how they went from allies to adversaries. So that's what the story kind of reminded me of, you know, so like, and also the concept you can either use your power for good or for evil. So that's my takeaway from the story as well. So that's that. So um, I'll definitely say for those that have seen previous Transformers movies, then I would say this is, you know, a fun movie to see for everybody of all ages. So... That's that, so look forward to sharing more content again soon. Until then, signing off. Take care, everyone.